that film. The public is also going to have a chance to see some amateur films by, I think, students locally have made some films mm -hmm. and, and so mm -hmm. on. Um, it must always be, that while they're not up to the standard and the level of a professional filmmaker, interesting to see some fresh and, and new ideas from, from kids, uh, essentially students, secondary school students who are out there making films. It is, and it's also, it's, it's encouraging to the film industry because while we're trying to promote, you know, we're, we're trying to promote film as a viable industry in Trinidad, and it's, it's just encouraging to know that there are people who are making films and that it doesn't necessarily have to be a massive production in order to get out there, that, you know, if you make something that's of merit, that's beautiful, that has some qualities that you know someone can relate to then you know there's a chance we'll show it and there's a chance also for those people to meet with more experienced filmmakers during the festival yeah and just in addition to that the um the ue film program is really coming up with some some excellent filmmakers some young emerging passionate uh, people who are really willing to experiment and to do some new things, and um, I think that that's promising for the film industry. You see them taking some chances in films, doing some new things? Definitely, and also mm. just willing to work in a lot of different sort of environments. Right, um, that a, a more seasoned filmmaker may not be willing to work in? Yeah, or, or less commercial right. as well. Right, yeah. yes, mm. less commercial films. So tell us a, a little bit about when and where we can take in this for $25 and we don't start next week, Wednesday runs for two weeks, just about 16th to the 29th of September. Uh, any other opportunities? Move down, of course, in Invaders Bay, move down in Tobago as well. There is um, a, a film program at Studio Film Club as well, and that's um, next, next week. Next Wednesday, Wednesday, the 16th, the 17th, and the 18th. That's in the Fernandez compound in Laventil. Um, there'll be films showing from 7.15 on. Those are free in the evening. Right. And then on and it's Saturday. And it's also, I'd, I'd like to make a little plug for it because it's really, uh, those, those are some films that I particularly enjoy. If you have an interest in anything fine art related, that's kind of your, that's, that's the group of films you want to catch. You want to get Excellent into. filmmakers coming. Yeah. yeah. Up at the and it's, yeah, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a really great environment. It's too. a great environment. Yeah, yeah, it's very different from what you might experience at Movie Town or at other places. Um, then on Saturday, there'll be film screening, screening at Naparima Girls High School in San Fernando. Yeah. And that's all day long. Those are free. And then the following Thursday and Friday, the 24th and 25th, there'll be film screening at UE campus. Okay. And I think we can get more information on the internet. Am I correct? www.trinidadandtobagofilmfestival.com. Yes. Right. Bookmark it. <laughs> it's long, but not all that hard to remember. www.trinidadandtobagofilmfestival.com. And check out our blog spot as well. It's on the website. Right. Melanie Archer and Jonathan Alley have been writing some great stuff. A bit of a stuff. discussion yeah. on the films. Yes, and exactly. Guests. Some of your syn synopses. Some of the pics of um, all of our synopses on the website under the films, but on the blog, we, you know, sort of just kind of talk around the festival and try to, you know, just generate a little bit of interest, make yeah. our personal picks, etc. Okay, Melanie yeah. Archer and Emily Upsack, thank you very thank much you. for joining thank us this thank morning. You. And we will be looking out for that film festival. Gail, of course, we are partnering with the film festival and we urge you to go out and see some of those films. They really are quite good and, and you'll pay $25, uh, not the usual movie town price, and you're gonna get in and, and see a, a good film, an unusual film in most circumstances, not your typical Hollywood plot that you kind of know the ending before <laughs> it goes along, and some beautiful, some really beautiful films. So we'd like you to urge you to get out there. That's all for today. Uh, that's the end of People's Budget Response. Wayne Cunningham and myself will be on tomorrow morning. We'll be talking football, that of course, after tonight's game against the United States at the Hisley Crawford Stadium. That kicks off Yikes. at 7, <laughs> 11, 7, 11, p.m. tonight, uh, TV time. All right, so that's it for this morning. Thank you for joining us.